Aw, oh, don't bug. Don't bug. Hmm. A plug lie in bunkers. How do I get out of it? Let's find out. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. And second of all, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. In today's video, I'm talking to you about how to get out of this lie in a bunker. Let's do it. So guys, when we're faced with a lie like this, the first thing we have to do is manage our expectations. I'm not expecting to float this up really soft, land it near the spin, check it a couple of times, spin back and then go in because that's more than likely not gonna happen. Let me play you a normal bunker shot first and show you a couple of differences. So a normal bunker shot with a nice lie, I've got my 56 degree sand wedge, I'm gonna open the face up, lower my hands and I'm gonna try and use the bounce to get through the sand and pop the ball up in the air. Sounds easy, right? Love that. Now I've got the plug lie from this tee shot. What do I do differently? What do I need to change? Not only am I gonna change my expectation levels, but I'm gonna change my club. So rather than using the 56 degree sand wedge, I'm gonna reach for the most lofted club in my bag. We're going 60 degree lob wedge. And rather than opening the face up, trying to use the bounce, trying to glide underneath the sand and pop the ball up in the air, we're gonna go straight face. I'm gonna use this sharp leading edge to try and cut through the sand, use the loft that's on the club, and try and get that ball up in the air. I'm gonna put a little bit more weight on my left side, and I'm gonna feel like it's a little bit more of a jab, so I have a nice short finish. I'm not gonna try and go all the way through to the target. Weight left, square face. I'm also gonna grip down the club a tiny bit to give me a bit more control. Not bad at all. So as you can see here, I've got the standard bunker shot there, about seven foot left for par. And then I've got the plugged lie bunker shot, just a little bit long there, still a chance for par. And that's what it's all about, guys. When you find yourself with a bad lie anywhere on the golf course, it's about giving yourself the opportunity to save par, not rate your scorecard and move on to the next hole. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been James Robinson. Today I'm here at the beautiful Desert Springs Golf Resort in Almeria. Thank you. If you're new here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the content. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.